this is Mato. In this video I will show you the game between Mikhail Tal and Vladimir Simagin. This is the game from Soviet Union Championship that was played in Leningrad in 1956. Mikhail Tal had white pieces and he started with e4. Simagin played c6, d4 and now not d5. This would be Karo Khan defense. Simagin played d6. Knight to c3, knight to f6, f4. Simagin played queen to b6, eyeing the pawn on b2 and preventing bishop to e3. Knight to f3, bishop to g4, pinning the knight, unpinning knight from b to d7, white to move. How would you continue this position if you had white pieces? Perhaps a castling comes to mind. Do you agree? Tal played e5, attacking the knight and gaining the space on the board. Knight to d5. Tal castled kingside. Knight takes knight. Pawn takes knight. Black to move. Sima King played logical move e6 because he wants to play bishop to e7. I think he wished he captured the knight on f3. You will soon see why. So we have e6, knight to g5, bishop takes bishop, queen takes bishop. Black to move. Simagin considered bishop to e7. If bishop to e7 white can play f5 or even pawn takes pawn. Simagin played h6, tempting the Tal to sacrifice the knight. Would you sacrifice the knight on f7? Or would you play knight to f3 or something else. Well, Mikkel Tal sacrificed the knight. King takes knight, f5, d takes on e5, f takes on e6, king takes pawn, black is a piece up, and if he can bring his king to safety, he will win the game. Why to move? How to continue to attack? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Mikal Tal sacrificed the rook. Queen takes rook. Well, queen to a6 looks like a good alternative move. But then we would have this continuation. Queen to g4 check. King to d6. d takes on e5 check. King to c7. Bishop to f4. It seems that white is still better. Do you agree? So in the game we have queen takes rook white to move. How would you continue to attack on blacking? Tal played queen to c4, check. And bad news for black. Blacking must go to a black square. The same square as white black square bishop. So we have king to d6. Bishop to a3 check, discovered attack on the queen. King to c7, rook takes queen, bishop takes bishop. Black has three pieces for a queen. So material is equal. White to move, how would you continue? Tal played queen to b3, attacking the bishop 
and the pawn on b7. Bishop to e7. Queen takes on b7 check. King to d6. White to move. Again. How would you continue this position if you had white pieces? Tal played d takes on e5. Missing the strongest move. What is the strongest move in this position for white? The strongest move is rook to d1, threatening pawn takes pawn and then queen takes knight. If e4, keeping the file closed, then d5 is crashing. Okay, we have d takes on e5, check. Knight takes on e5, rook to d1 check, but knight is no longer there. King to e6, queen to b3 check, king to f5, rook to f1 check, king to e4, rook to e1 check, king to f5. How would you continue now if you had white pieces? Tal played g4, throwing everything at black king. Spectators were worried that Tal may kick Simagin in the shin under the table. That's how aggressive he was. Just kidding. King to f6. Rook to f1 check. King to g6. Queen to e6 check. King to f7. Queen takes knight. White is now better materially. But the battle is raging. Rook from h to e8. Rook to f7. Threatening checkmate. Defending. Queen to f5 check. King to g8. King to f2. White king may even go to g6. And also with this move, Tal is provoking bishop to c5 check. And Simagin played bishop to c5 check. King to g3. Rook to e3 check. King to h4. Rook from a to e8. This is another very interesting point of the game. White move. What would you do? If queen takes bishop, king takes rook. So Tal played a desperado move. Rook takes on g7 check. King takes rook. Queen takes bishop. Black king is now more exposed. Rook from 8 to e6. Queen takes pawn on a7 check. King to g6. Queen to a8. King to f6. White to move. Can you come up with a plan for white? How would you continue if you had white pieces? Tal came up with a simple plan and the plan is to get the pawn on a-file to a8 and to promote to the queen and to win the game. Very simple plan, isn't it? Will it work? Let's have a look. a4, king to e5, a5, king to d5, queen to d8 check, king to e4, a6, getting closer, king to f3, a7, very hot, rook to e2, white to move, should white promote the pawn to queen or to rook or something else, what would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Well, promoting the pawn to anything would be a blunder, because of So, Tal played queen to d3 check, rook from 6 to e3, white played a move and black started to cry, just kidding, white played a move and black resigned, the move is, queen takes rook check, black resigned in view of discontinuation, king takes queen, Pawn is pushed and promoted to queen. Rook 
takes on h2 check but now king to g3 rook takes on c2 queen takes on c6 and we can stop here Mikhail Tal can win from this position even if double blind folded what a game what a battle what do you think of this game how many moves did you guess and that is all I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and may you play like Tal at least sometimes bye for now